What is up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another very quick Ableton Live tutorial. This is on saving a default live set, okay? Um, let's say I'm a very dope dubstep producer and I always work on dubstep and I just want to set up some things so as soon as I open a new live uh, project, it's got some things already working for me. So first thing I would do is come over and change my BPM to 140. Uh, I would drop an EQ8 on the master. I would drop a limiter on the master. I might turn off the limiter, set it to 6, I don't know, whatever you set it at. I might come over my EQ8, you know, knock off that low end, maybe boost, boost this section here to give it a little more punch, and maybe, I don't know, drop off some of that, some of that high end. And then I'd, I, you know, I'd keep my limiter off because I don't like to mix with that. Um, I would turn my master volume down to maybe negative 1, negative 2. Um, I would control shift T to get a MIDI channel in there and I'm always using a drum rack for my first thing so I'd come into instruments and I'd drop a drum rack on it boom turn on the return couldn't see it there because of the skin but I would you know I put some uh, effects that I always use on my drums some reverb where is that reverb here maybe a ping pong delay Ping pong delay, okay, and then I always use my drum rack and then control shift T to another MIDI channel and rename that bass. Um, you know, something like this, and I'd make any other changes that I always use, but this is a good starting place for me, you know, so I don't have to do this every time I come into a, a new set. Next thing you want to do is come over to options, you want to come down to preferences, you want to go to file folder and save current set as default and hit save. This is overwrite this the template set and you say okay and now when I close Ableton and open it up this is what's going to be there waiting for me every time so I can just get right to programming my drums and stuff like that. I uh, hope that helped. See you next time.